Okay, here it is. Finally got the uh, Xbox One Elite controller. Um, I've been wanting this for some time, but I just didn't know if it was worth the money. Uh, spoke to a few people on Facebook and in like gaming groups and that, and found out that it is well by what they think is worth the money. So uh, yeah, let's uh, open the box and see what's inside. Nice. So this is the um, carry case it comes in. Uh, I also think, well, I think everything comes inside it as well, but the box is still really heavy. Though. So look. Woo! Look at that. Now that looks fucking awesome. Oh wow. So that you have a proper look at it. Feels really, feels really sturdy. Paddles on the back are gonna are gonna take some getting used to. The triggers feel great. Can do that, and it's half half trigger if you flick that switch. Let's just tilt the camera down a bit so it's a bit easier for you to see. So yeah. There it is, the Xbox One Elite controller. Let's have a look at how easily things can be changed. Oh wow. That's really easy. Uh, I'm not so sure about them. I'll test them out there. But yeah, the um, joysticks come off really easily. And so you want to change to some domed ones. Pop that off. Oh wow. Controller feels great. The grip on it, the grips on it are really nice. The paddles, I've never used a controller with paddles before so it's going to take some practice but I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, overall, on first impressions, it looks and feels awesome. We've got another D-pad in there. Uh, we've got some more joysticks. I think these are the. Oh, let me just grab them. These are the slightly. Make sure you can see that the longer ones. Let's see how they look on the controller. Say I wanted to change that one. Oh wow, that feels really weird. As you can see, they do come off a lot more than a normal one. But I think these can. They're well. They're used more on this side for aiming. It's a lot more precise apparently. But yeah, overall it's really easy to change stuff and everything just magnetizes back on. The case looks brilliant. And when you're done with it, it's just slips back in there. What's under here? It's probably just the warranty and all that. Okay. Guessing this is the USB cable or. Yeah. And some Duracells. Pop them back in there for now. I'm guessing you can play then with the controller uh, plugged in. Which would be quite cool. Okay, I'm not going to force that back in right now. What else we got? Let's get that out of the way. Setup guide, which we will need. Warranties and all that. So I'm trying to put stuff away while looking in the phone screen at the same time. As you can see there, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. See the phone at the bottom? Yeah. Oh. I'll keep that out. But yeah, I will be posting my review 
on the actual uh, on using the controller and letting you know how like if performance changes or whatever if I can if I actually improve on Call of Duty if there's room for improvement. Um, so yes, keep an eye on my channel. I'm gonna be playing a lot of Call of Duty. I'm also gonna be filming underneath uh, the controller so you can see exactly what's going on on the paddles when I'm playing. Uh, so yeah, we'll get all that synced up. So it looks great. So yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.